In today's video, I'm going to give you the build that my buddies and I use for Caldoon to go wreck everybody's dreams, so stick around, let's get it. Welcome back to CO Gaming, and today we are talking about Caldoon. I'm going to give you that meta build to go beat up on everybody with Caldoon, go wreck some dreams, all that good stuff, so... Let's just jump right into this. Uh, a lot of the reports that you will see today, which I will be showing you just like I did with the Mount Sauron build, will be from Deuce, Mr. Deuce himself. He has provided me with all these screenshots. My last season, I didn't get to use Caldoon all that much, so didn't get a whole lot of reports or anything like that. So he's been generous enough to hook me up. So let's just jump right in this. We're going to start off. We're going to go into how you should trait. Your Caldoon, use your skill points properly. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to go into 15 points into Marshal of the East Mark. Uh, that is first and foremost. Then you will put your 7 points into Quicksand and 1 point into Tribal Tactics. The old build that we used to use, we would go ahead and just put all 7 points into this, but we just... Through some testing, we just don't feel like it is the same as what it used to be. That The low percentage for the follow-up just isn't as good at what it feels like it it doesn't happen enough basically uh but after you put that one point in there just to give you that low percent chance we're going to go down to easterling we're going to put our 15 points there just of course going to give you that and then put seven points into evil alliance uh this is where things start to get a little bit different uh due to what respect you have and how high respect you have uh so what we're going to do normally is go ahead and fill out this as well put your seven points in iron guard and then you will put your 15 you could do 15 in your experience warrior really really doesn't matter the, the ideal is if you have lower respect just kind of balance this out and make sure you get some points in hunt down and some points in collaboration uh so i would say if you're really doing this from scratch, just, you know, make sure you do your Easterling, put your points here, and then just really spread this. Uh, so say your respect, I don't know, say your respect 15. Uh, so, you know, go ahead and put these points here, go up here, drop like seven, eight points, put the rest in these two evenly. I think that will work out pretty good. It'd be just fine. Uh, but outside of that, that, that pretty much is it. Your priority order is going to be Marshal of the East Mark first as you're leveling up. Easterling, Experienced Warrior. Make sure you do the side trees for each one of them as you're leveling up as well. Uh, that's pretty much that. That is a simple build. It's nothing to it. Higher Respect, of course, is going to be better. Some more points you get. Uh, the reports that I'm going to show you is from a Respect 25 Caldoon. As far as the gear goes for this, we're actually going to jump over to a, another screenshot from what Deuce himself uses. I pretty much run the same thing, but most of my stuff is kind of being tore apart right now because I'm setting it back in. So we'll just go ahead and pop this up. <clears throat> so this is what he runs. He runs the Giga Hammer with uh, Frenzy, which is going to be for follow-up. Gives you that extra follow-up. And then... You can do a Fire Protect, Superior Hauberk, in case you're fighting Witch Kings, but you also can run the Great Plate of the East, uh, which is going to be really good as well. Uh, pretty much anything melee related, if you're not going Burn Protect, uh, Scale Mail will be fine with melee Might, that'll be fine as well. Just pretty much any of those. Anything, Scale Mail, Superior Hauberk, you're good to go. Uh, then you want to run the Cask of Pride, or you can also do the Easterling Helm. Uh, if you're going to run the Easterling Helm, you're going to want to use the Evil Men. <clears throat> and then, of course, this here, you're going to run your Malie Vigor as well. I think it's like 42 Soldiers, uh, which is going to give you Malie Protection for damage taken. And then for the Drums of Baradur, you're going to do either Malie Might, or you can also do the Hill. Uh, either one of them is fine. Deuce actually runs the Malie Might, and I run the Hill. Uh, 
But outside of that, that's pretty much it. As you can tell, this is how Deuce does his at R25. Uh, at the at the time, this is kind of a, an older build. We're switching things up. But this is R25 right here. This is how he distributes his points. Uh, so that kind of works out. So we will get into what units you need to run for your Caldoon. So we'll pull up this next set of screenshots here so this is the units that he is currently running at the moment uh for now he's in a season where he has the half trolls <clears throat> so he's running the 2500 half trolls with 4000 halberdiers and a thousand corsairs of course in a normal season you won't really be running the uh half trolls if you don't have them so you just replace those with your goons which ultimately changes up how much you get. You can also run War Chariots as well. If you're in a in a season that you have War Chariots, King of Men, with them being one of them that you start start off with, it's pretty easy. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you have, you know, different things that you can do. Rangers Rise, of course. You know, you got your new wandering camps that you can use the um sand sand people whatever they're called uh, i don't forgot the name of them but sand warriors whatever it is uh you can use those instead of the corsairs but i, I would say you always have your halberdiers on there depending on what other units you're running will kind of depend on how many halberdiers you run but with this build in particular he's running the 4000 halbs the 2500 half trolls and a thousand corsairs that's pretty Pretty on the head of what I would do personally myself. Of course, you know, me and Deuce, we play a lot alike anyway when it comes to Caldoon. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, we'll jump into some reports real quick. So, the first port, report I will show you will be for this right here. Uh, be a Caldoon versus a Gandhi. Of course, this Gandhi is running Alchemists, Reapers, and Trolls kind of an odd build of course you know the reapers i understand to a point uh they always go after that lowest unit so you're just trying to get rid of those first but unfortunately this dude gets completely wrecked by this by this build here uh the next report i will show you is another gandy build uh this one here as you can tell they were running your marble arbalist Deuce was also not full and still pretty much wrecked this Gandy. <clears throat> it was a little bit closer of a fight, but you know you take the total health compared to what that Gandy had, and it's really not all that close at all. Uh, the next report we're going to go into is Deuce fighting a Gandalf the White. As you can tell, heavy, heavy Reaper build with trolls. Seems to be a kind of a running thing for this group that they're fighting this season, but... Unfortunately, that Gany the White gets completely clapped, and this Caldoon is not actually even full at this moment. So, that's pretty pretty bad loss right there for that Gany the White. Uh, all of these commanders on the right here have pretty decent gear. They're not slouches. They're all built pretty well. Uh, so, the next one is the one that will surprise most people, but this is where that fire protection comes into place as long as you're paying attention to what is on tiles and no we're not talking about spying on people what we are talking about is just using your brain all you got to do is open your eyes and read reports and you can pretty much tell what is exactly on tiles because they keep moving they're taking tiles that's simply that so this is simply one of those situations where deuce put on a fire protection chest smash this witch king that's that. And I actually think he's been running a fire protection chest the season, the current season he's in, pretty much the whole season. I don't think he actually switches at all, and it's not really hindering him anyway. Uh, so the next report is where we kind of get into the bread and butter uh, of this build. So this one is him beating a Sauron <clears throat> once again. Sauron, or the Caldoon, is not even full, and he pretty much wrecks this Sauron at this point and then my favorite thing about Caldoon and what actually convinced me personally to build my Caldoon to respect 25 is this right here the fact that you can do this to Gil with no 
tactical mark he does not run tactical mark he does not switch to tactical mark this is with no tactical mark yes you take losses but you get those dubs you win pretty much every time even against the most weld out gills these fights usually go your way or you chunk them enough that they're not taking another hit from anybody else with anything else so this next one is, of course, another gill. This guy's gill is definitely a little bit better than the first one. But at the same time, as you can tell, still got chunked quite a bit. And then the last report we're going to show is another gills. Clearly, definitely a level difference here. And this gill isn't exactly full. But once again, like it's, it's just pretty insane how well he does against gills. Uh, I don't think that I ever would have dreamed of Khaldun beating on Gills the way they do. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, your fights aren't always, you know, like blowout fights when you're doing this. But usually, it's even with even with the best best geared Gills that you you fight, it's usually pretty still still pretty even. You know, if you half and half, like you, it's a win in my book. Uh, you're fighting a T1 with a T3. So, like, I don't, I don't know what else you really could ask for right there. But, you know, it's just, just one of them things. But those those are kind of the reports. Uh, we will kind of backtrack in this video a little bit. And I will kind of give you a heads up on what you can do purple for equipment there. Uh, if you don't have, of course, all the gold gear, not everybody does. I'm always trying to keep my videos so everybody kind of has something they can do. So as far as a weapon goes, you can run the Easterling Spear uh, or probably the best purple weapon that you would want to run is a Cutlass with Malie Might. It's going to give you that plus plus three attack and it's going to give you the extra melee damage from the bottom uh the chest we've pretty much already gone over you, you can run the fire protect or you can do like a scale mail as far as purple goes uh you could technically if you wanted to you could run like a, a superior hauberk with shroud on it that would work as well uh, it's not really one of my recommended but it is recommended by some other players uh, as far as a helmet goes it's, it's really hard to say because, like, you could do, like, a full helm if you wanted to. Uh, you could do some of the other, like, the arm, honor cast. You could run that one. Uh, there's there's a few options, or you could go with something that gives you, like, madness or stun immunity. Uh, either way, just, just kind of pick. Uh, make sure whatever you choose is heavy might. So probably full helm, something around that area is what I would go with, or brutal helm. <clears throat> and then as far as accessory goes, as purples, uh, I would either do the drums of Moria with because it gives you the plus three attack, or maybe a worn out smoking pipe, something like that. I would probably recommend doing the the drums of Moria. Uh, that's with with speed. It's probably what I would do. Honestly, or you could do the bone talismans. Actually, this would probably be my recommended would be the bone talisman with strength of evil men. Actually, I almost forgot about that item. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, that that's probably what I would run for for an accessory and then do the drums if you didn't have that one. <clears throat> so on and so forth. But yeah, that's pretty much the the deuce build the the cow doom build i run pretty much the exact same thing there's very slight differences in in mine and deuce's gear of course we have three or four other people that play with us as well that run at least r19 r20 to r25 uh, cow doom so yeah it's a it's definitely a fun adventure using a t1 to beat up on people uh, making people mad, hurting, hurting feelings. It's never a good feeling when you've spent a bunch of money in a game and all of a sudden a T1 <laughs> smashes your respect 20 gill or respect 25 gill or <clears throat> depending on what you have. It's just, it's always funny if you ask me. But that is the Cal Doom build. That's what we use. Uh, if you want to support this channel, 
as always, hit the subscribe button. Uh, the Discord link will be in the description. Also, there will be a couple other links for people to check out. I've uh, been dropping some new stuff here lately, so smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Till next time, see you out.